and Happy New Year, everyone! Um, welcome to video one of 2024. Um, honestly, I cannot believe it's 2024 already. I really don't know where 2023 went. Like, it went by so quickly. It's blowing my mind. Anyway, so today I thought we could just, you know, relax and have a little bit of a chit chat, um, talk about what's been going on. Um, I, this video that I filmed, or the video, the video footage that you're watching, I actually filmed in like late November. This is me making my winter candles, and um, I'm doing a voiceover for this one because, as you can see, with me taking a deep breath just then, um, I was really, really trying to hold it all together. Um, I was exhausted. This day I felt extremely, extremely nauseous, but, um, and I had no idea, but it turns out our refrigerator was uh, breaking and I may have food poisoned myself, uh, <laughs> which was really, um, unfortunate, but, you know, things happen. And instead of doing what any normal person would do and like taking a break from filming, my brain just went, no, we need content. Um, so here we are. Um, in this video, I'm making my winter candles, which I'm, I'm very happy with. I didn't really have winter candles the year before simply because um, the scents that I tried, only one of them worked in a candle, so um, I only had wax melts. So this was fun to finally like have winter candles made. Um, and I'll tell you a little bit about those. So one I called Winter Night. And that one has like it's scented with like eucalyptus and pine and peppercorn and I believe cedar. Um, so it's a really fresh, like winter scent that kind of feels like, or when you smell it, it kind of feels like a nighttime walk through the snow. You know how it has that like really fresh scent? Um, yeah, I'm super in love with that one. That one is a pretty big seller. That's actually the only candle that I tried last year that worked out. So um, I knew for 2023 that it would, you know, it would work. And when I say last year, <laughs> I mean 2022. I'm still, I'm not cut up, you guys. I'm still tired from the winter season or the, you know, the holiday season. Um, then the second winter candle I have, I named Forest Walks. And that one smells exactly like you would think it is, uh, or think it would be. Smells like pine, sandalwood, but then it also has a hint of vanilla in it, so it's like a slightly sweet walk through the forest, um, through the pine trees and everything. And then the last scent I did was a cranberry, blackberry, and uh, not blackberry, sorry, black currant and pine scent. That one happens to be the best seller. I didn't think it would be. I thought for sure it'd be Winter Night, but I, uh, this one was a huge hit. Um, and it, I named it I'm Very Chilly um, because like it's cold and cranberries. I don't know. I, I try to come up with names that like make me giggle. Um, and yeah, that was one of them. And one thing that like really blew my mind was that Forest Walks and um, I'm Very Chilly sold, they were like, they were the top sellers this winter. Um, usually, you know, Sugar and Spice and Fireside are my top selling, top performing scents of all time. Um, but uh, they, they may get overpowered or, you know, get knocked down a few pegs by forest walks and I'm very chilly and honestly that's kind of exciting to me because I really enjoy switching to like new scents. I don't know about you but if you make candles and let me know if this happens to you um, or if it's just me but I get okay I love all of my scents. I will preface this by saying I love each and every one of my candle scents um, however the ones that are super popular, eventually I do kind of really stop liking to make, you know, because I'm just so over smelling it all the time. Um, so it was really nice to have three new scents for winter and for those to be the most popular ones because it kind of gave me a little break from the usual scents. Um, 
which I'm sure is a very common problem to have or a common issue amongst candle makers. But yeah, it was, I was not expecting them to be as popular as they are, but I mean, love it. So yeah, that was pretty exciting to have um, some new scents be the most popular. Um, oh, speaking of exciting, um, my, I think by the time this video goes up, my website will have gone live. If you didn't know, um, I closed my website down for the first two weeks of January just because I really, really, really wanted um, to just give it a facelift. Um, I liked my website, but it wasn't what I dreamt of having, if that makes sense. Like, I'm quite particular about, um, well, everything. Uh, <laughs> I'm incredibly particular about the things that I want and, you know, the way things look. Um, so the website I had before, I loved it, but like, I don't, I, I shouldn't say I loved it. I liked it, but I didn't love it. So um, that kind of triggered me to think like, okay, you know what, 2024, we're gonna start fresh, new year, new website. Um, so if you haven't checked it out yet, like if you're not on my uh, email list, I'll leave the link down below to be on my email list, first of all, because like, come on, just just join. We have fun over there. Um, but I'll leave my link to my website so you can go check it out. Um, I'm very proud of it. And it finally looks exactly the, the way I wanted it to look. Um, before, I, what I really didn't like is that my main photo, so I take all of my photos um which obviously saves me money but takes a lot of time mental energy but i do love doing it um however the one photo i really despise taking was the main images um of each product so if you haven't seen my website or like you're you're just you know getting to know me now my website before um and even now um the main image for each candle is just the candle or the wax melt or the room spray on a white background um but what i was having issue with was making sure that all of the main images looked cohesive um, and it was almost impossible to do because i was taking them all at different times like I don't release all of my I didn't release all of my scents at the same time so um, the lighting conditions were different the angle of the photo was different like there were so many little factors that came into play when taking these photos that they just were not they didn't look cohesive it looked like someone it, it, they looked like I took them myself and then just like threw them on to my website however this time around I went on Fiverr and I spent the money on having someone make me a mock-up. Um, so I took the original photos, I edited them uh, to look the way I wanted to, minus the labels. So when I took the photos, I had like a blank label on them. Um, and then I sent those photos to the person um, to make my mock-ups for me. And honestly, that was, so he did three and I think I spent like $40 because I tipped him um, because he did them all in a day, which was incredible. Um, but yeah, he just made these mock-ups for me. So now when um, I have a new scent, I can just put the labels on the mock-up. Um, so all the photos on my website look the same. Of course I have like the styled photos. Um, those are not mock-ups but just so the main images that you see when you're scrolling through all the pages, um, yeah, they all look the same now. And it's honestly, when I finished the site and I looked at it, it may have brought a tear to my eye. Like I'm so happy that I don't ever have to take those stupid like main photo images anymore, which like doesn't sound like that big of a deal, but trust me, if you know, you know, you know, um, what else? Another, well, I would say another exciting thing, uh, is something that I can't really talk to you guys about yet. Um, I do have something really exciting in the works. It's kind of like a dream come true. 
not something I expected to have at this point uh, in my business, but I'm very excited. Um, hopefully, I'm thinking if things go the way that I plan them to go, or I think that, you know, the way it's going to go, I should be able to tell you at the end of January, first week of February, at least. So we're almost there. Um, but yeah, it's going to provide a lot of content for myself and this channel and a new perspective kind of, um, and just kind of like a new little journey. So I'm really excited about that. And I'm, I cannot wait to, uh, tell you guys all about it and for you guys to see it. Let's see what else is new. Um, oh, I have found a new room spray base um, that I like so much more than the last one. The last one, um, if I had scents that had velanin or vanillin or I don't know how you pronounce that word. Um, sorry, I really need to stop. I have a like a hair clip that I keep clicking or like opening and closing and it's making a clicking noise. I'm sorry, I'll put that down. Um, but yes, the room spray. If you had a scent that had like velanin in it, I swear that stuff turned yellow in like a week. Um, it was really annoying. So um, I switched room spray bases. If you're interested um, in room sprays, let me know. Um, I could do a video about it. I don't make my own base. Um, simply for the fact that like I'm too lazy to. You know, like I'm already making candles. I'm already making wax melts. Um, I just don't have the mental capacity to make one more thing. I mean, technically I still have to make the room sprays, but I don't feel like making the base. Um, and I found a base that's really nice, um, kind of pricey, but you know what? The room spray doesn't turn yellow. So I'm happy with that. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to this year, rethink how I do things. Last year, I felt like I was on, I mean, to be fair, I did, you know, achieve most of the things that I wanted to achieve last year. But you guys, like, even doing this voiceover, I don't know if you can tell, but I am scatterbrained. Um, I'm still really exhausted. I did so many markets and just had so much going on that this year um, I've decided that I'm really, really going to focus on uh, a work-life balance, which I don't think I had much of last year. Um, so I may not be as consistent as uploading, like with uploading photos, um, especially because I'm now adding something else into my life, which I will talk to you about another day. Um, but I, I think it's really important as small business owners to know what our limits are because we don't have anyone else telling us what they are. Um, and especially for me, I don't know if I've talked about this on this channel, but in October, I was officially diagnosed with autism, um, which like, you know, I don't have any bad feelings about, but it does make me realize that I do need to focus on my mental health and my just health in general more. And that may be, you know, may, be me needing to take a step back and not be filming too many YouTube videos or not being on social media as much um, because I tend to get overwhelmed pretty easily. Um, so yeah, if there is a video where you're like, girl, you look like you need a break, please feel free to tell me because sometimes, you know, I'm autistic. I get on a roll and it's a hard thing for me to get out of it, you know, and make myself stop. So. Um, this may need to be a joint effort. Um, so yeah, basically what I think I'm trying to say <laughs> is that, um, I may not be uploading as much, um, on my YouTube channel or on social media in general, um, which I feel like I could do a whole ranting video about social media at this point, um, especially Instagram, but I won't do that. Um, but yeah, so I, I may, you know, disappear for some time or maybe I won't. Maybe I'll be smart enough to like, you know, film videos in advance. Honestly, I think I'm rambling. But uh, last thing I want to say, um, videos coming up. So I would love to know what type of video you would like to see this year. 
Um, I have a whole list of videos I'd like to make, but if you guys don't want to see them, then I won't make them. Um, but so far, like, the next video I think is going to be um, how I took the photos for my winter candles. And then I will be filming um, my video all about how I did uh, during Q4. So from October to the end of December. Um, kind of like how I do my six month or like year update. This one will just be for Q4 just because this is like my first um, go at it. The year before I didn't really do much in sales because I was pretty new and just trying to figure it all out. Um, and then I do plan on making a video. Uh, I, I ordered, so Candle Science just released their spring, their 2024 spring and summer scents. Um, so I bought them. I bought samples. So I thought I would smell them and like let you know what they smell like and if they're good, um, if I recommend buying them. If that's something that you're interested in, that will be a video that goes up soon. Um, yeah, other than that, like, I don't really know. I think this year I will start doing kind of more like day in the life of a candle business owner kind of thing. Um, yeah, I have a whole lot of videos planned, but I can't tell you what they are because then that gives away the big secret. Um, so yeah, just in the comments, let me know what you want to see. Um, oh, I'm also planning on doing a video on Notion um, and how I use that because I do really feel like because of Notion and how I planned out my year and my goals for the year, um, that is exactly why I accomplished them because it kept me really organized. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys want to see. Um, again, thank you for being here. Again, I still can't believe we're at over a thousand subscribers. That to me is still like mind blowing. Um, and here's to many more. Um, so yeah, if you've been here for even just today, thank you for watching my videos. Um, and if you've been here since day one, I feel like I know who most of you are. Um, just know you're incredible. Um, I really, really, really appreciate you. And yeah, I just hope everyone is having the best start to their new year. And I know that this year is going to be a really good year for all of us, um, especially those of us who are in business for ourselves. Um, I just feel it in my gut and I'm sending out all the good vibes. And yeah, I think I'll leave you on this note. Um, or on that note, I don't know. See what I mean? God, I think I'm going to go take a nap after this. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I will leave you and I will see you in the next one. And yeah, have a good one. Bye.